Hello everyone and welcome back to another Wizard World video. Now I told you guys yesterday that I plan on doing a more guide type video today rather than a ranty anti-KI type vid that I've been doing for the last few days because I thought that, you know, uh, kind of lame to just keep doing the same thing. So today I'm going over the best ways to get gold. Now, there's many ways to get gold in this game. Obviously, it changes depending on what level you are but this is a lot of some of the most major ways to get gold so that i know that a lot of lower levels have trouble getting gold a lot of people are like how do i get gold how do you get your gold all that kind of stuff i'm going to go over it today now i would like to just preface this by saying if you're just a casual player just quest through the game if you quest through the game you are going to have no problems with gold whatsoever my death wizard questing from like probably avalon to i mean just avalon alone was enough to get way over a hundred thousand but he constantly teeters on max gold and i have to buy t uh, treasure cards and stuff to prevent him from reaching max gold because i constantly get more gear to sell and this is because i just quested the game if you quest I i'm telling you right now if you quest through chrysalis which sounds painful, but if you quest through Chrysalis, you will get up to almost max gold just from doing that one world. So if you're like really stressing, wondering how to get gold, just quest through the game. If you quest through the game, you'll at least get a decent amount of gold. But likely you didn't click on this video wanting to know how to get gold just by questing. You wanted to know specific ways. So I'm going to go over a few of those now. The first thing, and, and this is a really big thing, is gardening. Now, there's a lot of gardening that you can do, different plants, different everything. I would personally recommend trying to find the high tier um, snacks, or I said snacks, I meant seeds, such as evil magma peas, um, couch potatoes, all that kind of stuff. You can see I have a lot here. These will give you treasure cards, which can be sold for a lot. I know that I think... I think it's evil magma peas give you a faint treasure card that sells for a few hundred each and if you wait until double gardening you're going to get a lot of those it's a decent way to get gold i recommend just getting a lot of plants to do and then find one that gives a good treasure card because i don't know all of them and i can't know all of them um i'm going to look up wizard 101 most valuable seed king parsley's are good um uh yeah okay so king parsley's saw and saw palmetto are, are, are um ones that give some decent stuff now the reason why i would recommend gardening is because it's very easy it's very manageable and obviously you can see my plants over here. I I have this like really tiny setup, but there are ways to stack like, I think it's like 60 something in just one of these plots. So you can hit them with the uh, major, the major spell like this and hit all of them at the same time. That's what I would recommend personally for a low level is gardening is an easy way to get them. But if you're more on the route for farming and you want more direct one thing i'd recommend and this is at a very low level you can technically do this at any level is lore master farming and likely you've done it in the past for getting a spell or getting treasure cards for a spell one of those things but it's actually incredibly valuable to do just generally um you can do it at any level as i said lore master the npc will give you the quest at literally any level in the game you can teleport in at level one so if you wanted to farm at level one you can i wouldn't recommend it but um actually i don't know if it is any level is it still any level i thought it was but yeah okay so you can get it at any level if you want to. Um, I just would recommend getting here if you can. 
I just wait until Dragonspire because it's not that far into the game. But if you can't wait that long, get someone to teleport you in. And what this will give you is a lot of treasure cards. You can use those treasure cards, either sell them to people for evil, uh, for empowers, sorry. So if you get rarer cards, like say, if you get a rat spin treasure card, rat spin goes for around 90 empowers, which is uh, quite a lot of gold. I think that's in the, it's in the tens of thousands. I know that um, if you get one of those, but otherwise, you actually get a lot of re uh, a lot of treasure cards like Dryad, and I'm sorry I'm stumbling over my words a lot today, I don't know why. But you get a lot of Dryad cards, a lot of Fairies, a lot of Regenerates, a lot of Satyrs, all of these valuable heal spells. Trust me when I say my death had like, after farming, had probably about a hundred of each. And let me tell you, that sells for a lot. Like, I think the Dryads sell for 200 a piece plus, which... If you even have 20 of those, that's like 4,000 gold or 40,000. Is that 40,000? I think that's 40,000, which is kind of crazy. So this could be a good way for you to get gold. Also, it drops a lot of level 45 gear, which doesn't seem like a lot at first, but these probably sell for about 800 a piece at the bazaar. I, I'm telling you right now, if you farm the lore master, you'll probably get to 100,000 in... I mean, it depends on how fast your runs are, but with the amount of people that tend to do lore master runs, I'd say you can farm 100,000 in less than two hours, maybe? Potentially even faster than that. I know that I, myself, could probably farm 100,000 from her in less than an hour if I wanted to, but it's a matter of how fast your runs are. Now, this is... Uh, obviously, this one is what everyone knows, but I need to go over it anyway. This is, without a doubt, the fastest way to get gold in this game. There is no faster way to get gold in this game. And that is to go to Grizzleheim and then go to Wintertusk. Um, I would recommend actually just doing the quest yourself before going here. This is a more mid to late game way to farm gold. But if you can teleport in at an early level, you can do that if you want to. But I personally wouldn't recommend it. You come over here and then you come to Vesterland. And now the reason why you want to go here is because there is a singular boss. This boss is actually really easy. It has 1800 health and its minion has 1300 health, I believe. Um, that of, in of itself is kind of crazy considering the fact that that's literally nothing. Like, that's a boss from Mushu, really, which is pretty easy. You come to here, Halfang's Cave, and you're going to fight Halfang Bristlecrown. Now the reason for that is, is he drops so much gear that you can sell and it sells at a really really good price so the the things you're going to be looking for is he drops boots the boots sell for two thousand a piece the wands sell for four thousand a piece i believe the athames sell for about two thousand a piece rings as well about two thousand but the most important drop is amulets amulets will sell uh, specifically the cow's pearl amulet will sell for 8,000 gold a piece and those drop semi-frequently so that in of itself is a really good idea to farm for and this guy is without a doubt the fastest way to make gold um, if you look here so i got a ring so that was 2,000 gold in that one battle right that right there this is the fastest way to gold farm in the game without a doubt I'd say with this method, you can get 100,000 gold in 15 minutes if you're lucky. I could probably do, I'd say each of these takes me about one minute to do, potentially less than that, if I'm going fast, which means I get about 15 duels per minute. Say if I got 15 cows pearl amulets, that's almost 100,000 gold in and of itself, but you're also going to be getting other drops as well. So definitely, like, fastest way to get gold in the game. Now, really, we're coming up at the end of this video. What other ways to get gold? Um, I've mentioned in the past Mount Olympus. Mount Olympus is actually a, a genuinely a good way to get gold. And the reason for that is, is that it drops a lot of gear and a lot of gear that's worth selling. Um, I would say that a lot of the level 30... Um, here, let's look at this. So you see the senator's stuff right here? If I feed that to my pet, you can see I got 400 gold from that. Those are a very frequent drop in Mount Olympus, 
which means you could potentially be getting, you're definitely going to be getting over 400 gold per run, definitely probably in upwards of 1,000 gold per run, which can be definitely over 1,000. Let me correct that. Definitely over 1,000 gold, which can potentially be good if you're wanting to sell. And also, it comes with the added bonus that Zeus drops some good gear for level 30 up to level 60. So that's what I would recommend at low level. That's my entire thing. Let me uh, actually real quick show you the... So this is the thing that was dropped from Halfang. You can see it sells for almost 4,000 gold. There you go, sell that. Get the ring. The ring is these two right here. Boom. There you go. That was, uh, you see I did them twice and I got, uh, that was 8,000 gold for it which is kind of crazy, really good way to get gold in the game. And that's really it for this video, as I wanted to show you some of the good ways to get gold. Um, let me know in the comments section below if you A, found this helpful, or B, have different ways to farm gold. I'm sure that there's plenty of ways. And really, it just comes down to your dedication. You can really just quest through the game and get so much gold that, you know, you'll never want for gold again. And if you get low, you just start farming. I would especially recommend Halfang if you're past um, past the level, or that'd be around level 50 to be able to go there. You can get there technically at level 40 if you want to. So if you're past level 40, it might be a good idea to do, um, to do Winter Tusk and get that so that you can sell it. But really that's all I have for today. Uh, drop a like if you found this helpful. Uh, if you didn't find this helpful, drop a dislike. I don't really care. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Have a fantastic day. Thank you all for watching.